Well, hello guys, welcome back to Mr. G Physics. Here is Mr. G, the channel that helps you with the physical sciences for the high school. Now, um, today we're going to be working with frictional force. Last time we learned about friction, today we're going to practice, we're going to answer a question. But if you are new in the channel, before we carry on, don't forget to subscribe so you can get all the notifications and videos I post on regular basis. So we're going to learn how to calculate frictional force and then we're going to do another question later on in another video to calculate frictional force, but we also will have to calculate normal and we we'll learn how to do that together. This question says a block rests on horizontal surface. The normal force is 20 Newton. They're giving you that the normal is equal to 20 Newton. So not need for calculating normal force. The coefficient of static friction between the block and the surface is 0, comma. For the coefficient of static friction, I'm going to write it here. Static coefficient of friction is equal to 0, comma. 4 is not the unit. And the coefficient of kinetic fr uh, friction is 0, comma. 2. The coefficient of kinetic friction, I'm going to write it right here. Kinetic friction is equal to 0, comma. 2. The sum data for us. Question A. What is the magnitude of the frictional force where the block is at rest? Now, remember from previous lesson. If the block is at rest as it's not trying to move, the frictional force is zero. So we go back here. And this one was one of the scenarios we done. Remember, if the block is not moving, it's at rest, it's on a horizontal surface, that is also quite important. The surface must be horizontal. If the surface is not horizontal, then since a uh, change, and we're going to look at that one obvious eventually. Okay, so this is the block of mass M. The block is not trying to move, is uh, at rest, and therefore the frictional force is zero. That is A, quite simple. As soon as the object is, as long as the object is there in that situation where it's not trying to move, then the frictional force is zero. Now, question um, B. Calculate the minimum force required to start moving the object. And um, let's recall what we say about that one. The minimum force required to start moving an object, any object is going to be not other thing than the maximum static frictional force. Guys, every time they ask you to calculate the minimum force required to start moving, start moving an object, it means they are asking you to calculate the maximum static frictional force. Okay, so this is quite important. It's going to be asked a few times. We can do it real fast and we can do it on this side here. You know what? Let's move all this one. Let's move it a little bit there so we can save some space. Let's add that one. And let's go here. B. B. We're looking for the maximum static frictional force. Formula. Remember, it's a static coefficient of friction multiplied by normal. And all we have to do is to substitute. We have the data there. So the static is 0, 0,4 times 20. So it's 0, 0,4. Uh, this is 4 here. Multiplied by 20. Okay? So we get that is 8 Newton. What does it mean? It means that you need 8 Newton to start moving that block. If the force is less than that A Newton, the block is not going to move. And the force will always be the same as the applied force. Okay, it's quite simple. That is the maximum static frictional force. And remember that maximum static frictional force is not other thing than the minimum force required to start moving the block. Guys, it's quite important. They're going to ask you in that way in the exam, okay? So now you know, if the force is less than eight, the box is not going to start moving. If the force is eight or more, then the object will move and we change to kinetic frictional force. Now it's coming a very important question. What will the magnitude of the frictional force will be if a horizontal force of five, um, of five Newton is exerted on the block? Well, five Newton is less than eight Newton, therefore, Therefore, the frictional force is going to be equal to the applied force. This one is the scenario we were talking before. Here, object is not moving. It is uh, at rest. Now, let's say we don't know that. 
let's go here because this one was exactly the same scenario as before we know that the maximum static frictional force is 8 in newton so let's write it here the maximum static frictional force is 8 in newton therefore 5 newton will not move the object it's not enough 5 newton is less than 8 all right so the applied force let's write it here the applied force is smaller than the maximum static frictional force therefore the object will not move okay object will not move because of this one here let's highlight that it's important object will not move that is the first important thing you need to have in mind therefore if the object is not moving the frictional force is going to be equal to the applied force saying that the frictional force is therefore 5 newton to the left if this force suddenly increase to 7 guys 7 still less than 8 so the frictional force will be 8 is static frictional force that's all that is all it's quite simple okay it's really really simple you always now always therefore you need to calculate the maximum static frictional force and this is practically the end of the question then say calculate the kinetic frictional force we are going to do this one real fast now the object um, the object is moving the force that they apply is greater than eight it's not important anymore okay so we're going to calculate the kinetic frictional force we can do it on this side here this one is d the kinetic frictional force i'm going to write fk is equal to kinetic coefficient of friction multiplied by normal normal is the same and the kinetic coefficient of friction is given to us and is two we isolate the answer there so it's two zero comma two pardon not two zero comma two multiplied by 20 get that the kinetic frictional force is equal to 4 newton to the left that is the answer the direction is important because we're dealing with vectors now important you can see something here something here the maximum static frictional force is equal to 8 newton however the kinetic frictional force is only 4 newton now important it's going to be 4 newton it does not matter how strong the applied force will change or how fast the object is going to stay 4 newton it will be all the time forever and ever it's going to be constant 4 newtons constant all right they will only change if you change the normal or you change the surface but as long as the normal stay constant and the kinetic coefficient of friction stay constant, the frictional force, the, the, the um, kinetic frictional force is going to be 4 Newton. Guys, this is all for now. We are going to learn in other videos, I'm going to make a question in which you do have to calculate the normal force because it's quite interesting. And remember I said no formula the we have to deduct the formula okay so we're going to do maybe two more videos on this one and i want to do a short a short experiment also as well to see um the frictional force and, and the relationship guys thank you for watching if you didn't subscribe don't mess up subscribe now and then um, you'll get all the notification and videos and post on a regular basis this is all you need to improve your physics in grade 11 12 10 and even 8 and 9 thank you for watching i'll see you next time mr jim here.